Mani brat pana. Sahas lave greta vesvam. Bahara mandalaya. Anantaya. Nagarajaya Namaha Exhaling, release the hands and right into Surya Namaskar A. Inhale and reach. Dropping the tail, take the pelvis back a little. Then exhale, dive the pubic bones back and get long as you descend. Inhale, uncoil from the base to the crown. Exhale, just step back to a high plank position. And then inhale there, press the spine up between the shoulder blades and keep that sense of lifting the rib cage as you just bend your elbows to come to Chaturanga. Then knees to the floor, shift the weight back, straighten the arms, drop the tail, then coming forward, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, then straighten the arms. And then we'll pause here, just feeling into the front of the pelvis. Maybe you can bend your right knee Reach back through the left leg, look over the right shoulder. You might even pulse a little bit. And then turn to the left, bend the left knee. Look over the left shoulder. And then back through center, lift from the heart through the crown. And exhale back. Downward facing. with a deep rhythmic undulating movement of breath. Lifting the support of the earth on the inhale, right through the arches of the feet up through the pelvis to the heart. Letting it slide forward and down on the exhale through the arms and hands and fingertips back into the earth. One more. And then coming forward to your feet and inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, back to the beginning. Again, inhale, spread the back of the body as broad as you can. Then exhale, keeping long through the spine as you go down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale this time all the way to Chaturanga. Knees down or not, but waving up. Shoulders back, then lift. And exhale. Downward facing. And drawing gently up and back just underneath the belly with each inhale. To accentuate the ascending current, feel it slide underneath the belly to the heart. Feel the heart fully expand at the top of each breath. And then release it forward and down. One more full breath here. All the way to empty, then coming forward to your feet. 
and inhale, get length. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, back to the beginning. Again, inhale, hollowing the front of the pelvis as you reach. Exhale, all the way down, inhale and coil. With a hollow belly, dropping the tail, then exhale, go back to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, back to downward facing. And casting the thoughts forward through the crown of the head to release them into the emptiness of the out breath. And in that way, clearing the inner space of the mind, clearing the center for the next breath to slide through. One more. And then coming forward to your feet. And inhale, get length. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale. Back to the beginning. Again, inhale and reach. And exhale. Inhale and coil. And exhale, go back. To Chaturanga, inhale when you're ready, waving up. And then exhale back. To downward facing. Letting the shoulders gently roll out with the in breath. So that they spread a little as the back of the diaphragm expands. So you exhale, reaching forward and down through the line of the index fingers. There's a little bit of counter spiral through the arms. And dropping the head even closer to the earth. One more. And then coming all the way forward to your feet. And inhale, get length. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And exhale. Back to the beginning. One more like this. Inhale and reach. And exhale. Diving down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, go back. Inhale, waving up. And exhale to downward facing. spine, undulate naturally with the breath. One more here. And 
And then when you're ready, coming forward to your feet. And then inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rising up. And exhale through Samasitihi. Bend the knees, touch the fingertips to the earth. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale and reach. And exhale, fold down. Inhale and coil. And exhale, go back to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, go back through downward facing right foot forward. Then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing left foot forward, then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Ah. Letting the spine be more and more supple as the wave of the breath deepens. And keep clearing out the inner space of the body, letting the breath wash away the sediment so that you become a more open conduit for its inner movement. One more full breath. And coming forward to your feet. And inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. And the knees deeply inhale and reach. Stand tall. Through Samasitihi, touch the fingertips to the earth and again to Ukatasana. And exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale and coiling. And exhale, go back. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale, through downward facing, step the right foot forward. You might lift the front heel, drop the tail and roll it up. Exhale, all the way down to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up again to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, back through downward facing left foot forward, then inhale and reach, dropping the pelvis at the same time. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Letting the breath be natural and deep. forward. Inhale, get length. And exhale, fold. And the knees deeply inhale and reach. Stand tall once more through Samasitihi. Touch, then inhale. And exhale, folding down. 
Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, go back. Inhale, waving up. And exhale through downward facing right foot forward, then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing left foot forward, then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha. Listening closely to your own breath. One more full breath. Then coming forward to your feet. Inhale, get length. And exhale, fold down. And the knees deeply inhale. To Ukatasana, stand tall through Samasitihi as if to do another, but then we'll just go into Uttanasana. So inhale, lift the sitting bones high, big toes still touching, heels apart. Turn the hands back or take them to the backs of the legs and fold in. As you inhale, lift the inner ankles, lift the sitting bones, hollow the belly. Exhale, let the breath flow down the back of the spine through the crown and back into the earth, using the arms to gently draw yourself deeper into the fold. One more breath. Then inhale and coil. And exhale, go back to Chaturanga. And inhale, waving up. And exhale, back to downward facing. And inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands for Trikonasana. Inhale, sweep the left arm back and up. Pressing the feet away from each other. shoulders back and with the next exhale bring the left hand back then swing it down forward and up to come into Ardha Chandrasana you might flex your left ankle press through the heel spread the back of the body One more. And exhale, return to the earth. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, go back. 
Inhale your length. And exhale, left foot forward between the hands and inhale, reach. For Trikonasana, second side. Lifting support from the earth up through the pelvis all the way to the heart, feeling the heart expand. And then reaching out in every direction. One more inhale. And then as you start to exhale, shift the weight into the left foot for Ardha Chandrasana, second side. And then exhale, return to the earth. Just come to the high plank and take an inhale there. And then exhale, lower slowly to Chaturanga. And inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, left hand to the outside for Parivrita Trikonasana and reach. Deep, regal breath. One more. And then shift the weight forward into the right foot for Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. You might extend through the back foot on this one. Keep the left shoulder rolling back. One more. And exhale, return to the earth slowly. Step to the high plank, inhale there. And exhale, lower. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, back. Inhale, get length. And then step the left foot forward for the second side, Parivrita Trikonasana. Drawing that left hip back and in, letting the tailbone fall, lift the knees. Let the spine wave with the breath. One more inhale. And then exhaling, Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale and find the length. Reaching way back. through the right leg and forward through the spine. One more inhale. And exhale. Return to the earth. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, lower. To Chaturanga, inhale, wave up. And exhale back, inhale, get length. And step the right foot forward 
between the hands. Lift the left foot up behind you. Into Digasana with the fingers on the floor. Press back through the heel, forward through the crown. Hollow belly. Little internal spiral through the left leg. One more in-breath. And as you exhale, let that left foot start coming down, but also start to ascend. Then inhale, reach the arms above the head. Take the left foot out in front of you. Press the shoulders forward and make the spine as long as you can make it. You're pulling back and up underneath the belly and lifting the crown infinitely toward the sky. Spreading the back of the body laterally from the tail, across the pelvis, the back of the diaphragm, between the shoulder blades and even the occipital base of the skull. One more inhale here. And then exhaling, turn to your left, bend the knee if needed, and catch the outside of your left heel. And then drop your left hip, sitting bone. And get long through the waist. One more. And exhaling, release will turn, return to Digasana, but this time maybe with the arms reaching straight out from the shoulders. Lift the front of the body up toward the back. So you stay connected with the aponic support. One more inhale. Take the hands back. And exhale, bring the left foot down. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Down, we're facing inhale, get length. And exhale, left foot forward into digasana. Keep the tailbone just heavy enough that you feel that you're hollowing out in the front of the hips. One more inhale. And exhaling, start to bring the right foot down, but bring it right through without touching the floor and bring it out in front of you. Reaching for the sky. One more inhale. And then exhaling, turn to your right. Catch the outside of your right heel. Then drop your right sitting bone. Make the spine as long as you can. One more. And then slowly release the right foot, turning back forward. Squaring the hips toward the floor. Pressing back through the root of the big toe on the right foot and forward. 
through the crown. Inhale, take the hands back. And exhale. Return to the earth. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Then inhale, waving up. And exhale back. And inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, straighten the right leg, interlace the fingers behind you, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, reach the knuckles toward the floor, then bend the front knee and come down into the humble warrior. Turn to your right, sweep that right arm around, hands sliding to the outsides of the legs and gazing back over your right shoulder. Draw that left hip forward a little, even as you reach back through your left heel. One more. And then open it up to the reverse warrior. With the right arm reaching way back. Try to bring it down so it's almost parallel to the earth. Looking up underneath it toward the sky. One more, and then exhale, wind the hands down. And then maybe you can lift to Lulasana again. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And exhale. Left foot forward, interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. And then exhale to the humble warrior. Trying to reach the hands forward, not so much out to the side. With the head just inside the left ankle. Reaching forward infinitely. One more. And then inhale, coming up. Wind that left arm around, twisting to your left and gazing back. Draw your right hip forward a little, then reach back through the right heel. One more. And we'll open it up, turning back toward the right into the reverse warrior. Sink down nice and low. Keep reaching your head back. So you're as long as you can be through the left side. One more inhale, and exhale, wind the hands down. Step again to Lalasana, and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Ordva Mukha, and exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. 
And exhale, jump forward to a squatting position for Ukatasana. Inhale, arms up. Keep the heels grounded, the tailbone heavy, and a feeling of hollowness in the front of the pelvis. One more. And then exhaling, twist deeply to your left. Bring the right shoulder behind the left knee, right hand to the floor, left arm straight up, and drop your hips nice and low. Take the arms up. And exhale, twist to the right. And right arm up. Try to get that left palm flat on the floor if you can. So you can really press into it and reach. And keep dropping your tailbone lower and lower. And then inhale back up through center. And exhale. Bring the hands down. Maybe you can lift up to Malolasana. And then exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. Step the left foot forward again between the hands. Shift the weight back into the squatting position once again. This time, catch the inside of your left foot with your left hand. And then you're gonna straighten the right arm with the palm back. Gaze right down the line of that right arm. You kind of press your shoulders back to get more reach. Catch the left ankle with your left arm, and you're gonna come down onto the elbow, reach forward with the right hand and catch the outside of the left foot. And you could catch that right leg either with an overhand or with an underhand grip. You could try it both ways, see which way you like it better. or just holding the right arm straight up in the air. If you can, gaze toward the toes of your left foot one more. And release, bring the weight into the right foot. Shift the weight forward again, step to a high plank, inhale, and exhale lower, chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And then step the right foot forward, shift the weight back into a squatting position on the left side. Catch the inside of the right foot with the right hand. And the left arm straightens with the palm back. And then roll your shoulders back. Bring your heart as low to the floor as you can.
and then the right arm. You could take it as a kind of intermediate position straight out, it's kind of parallel to your, or perpendicular rather, to the right leg. The right sitting bone's gonna come down on the floor now. And you could just reach the left arm up, or if you can catch the outside of that right foot, go ahead and catch, and then the right hand might slip to the, to just above the ankle on the left leg. And then take the foot back as needed, and you can press the knee away from the center to get even more length. One more. And inhale, coming up. And come forward. Step to a high plank. Inhale there. And exhale lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, go back. And inhale, get length. And exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Bring the right knee down to the floor. Actually, let's straighten it first and just take a lunge here. So arching, look down the line of your nose, but keep dropping the hips, diving the pubic bones back. And then bring the right knee down, reach back, catch the foot on the inside with the thumb pointing up, and then push the foot into the hand, into the right hand, and look over your left shoulder. And the idea is that you're stretching that right arm as long as it will go. So roll the right shoulder back and pull the shoulder blade down. And you'll feel the nerve stretching on the inside of the right arm, probably all the way up to the skull. And then draw the foot toward the outside of your right hip. Straighten the left arm. And then you might switch your hand so your left hand is holding. Then take your right hand down, catch the inside of your knee Put the foot so that it's being caught by the inside of the shoulder. Then maybe the left arm can reach back around behind you and catch the heel. And then we let that one go. And step to a high plank, inhale there. And exhale, lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward and come into the lunge. And then bring the left knee down. Reach the left arm up and back. Catch the foot on the inside with the thumb up. Push the left foot into the left hand. And turn to your right. Externally rotate the left arm. Pull the shoulder blade down. more. 
Then bring the foot toward the outside of the left hip. Press it forward with the left hand and square your pelvis toward the front of the mat. Straighten the right arm. switch hands, slide the left hand down to the inside of the left knee, and then maybe your right arm can reach around and catch the heel. Keep lunging forward. Exhale, release, step to the high plank. And exhale, lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, wave up. And exhale, back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, come forward to your knees. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, come into Ustrasana. Arda Ustrasana, so we'll take the left leg straight out to the side, like this. And then the left arm goes up and back to the floor, and then right arm follows. You're a little bit turning to the right, not too much. And reaching back through that right arm, press the right hip way forward. So you're as long as you can be through the right psoas line. And inhale up. And then second side. The right arm up goes first, lands back, followed by the left. And inhale back up. One more symmetric one to balance it out. Hands to the floor, maybe. And exhale, hands to the floor, tuck the toes under, shift the weight back and bring the knees to the chest and take an extra breath or two here. And when you're ready, lift up to low asana. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha and exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length, exhale, come to your knees once again. And we'll take a 
How about Lagha Vajrasana like this? So you don't have to go, you might not go back as far as you normally would, but you might. You'll go, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And then on the fifth one, you can catch your legs or maybe even catch in the front and curl back. And then inhale up. And tuck the toes under. Hands down, shift the weight back. Take a full exhale there. Then inhale, lift. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Ordva Mukha. Exhale back. Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. And exhale, come forward to your knees. For Kapitasana. Or, you know, you can practice hanging, just reaching back. So, if you either go into a fairly well-formed Kapitasana or just curl back with your hands like this and see how low to the floor you can go and just hold. Hold for at least five breaths there before coming up. Take your B variation. Coming up, and then tuck the toes under, and just come to a squatting position. And you can just take a breath or two here, just letting the currents drain down from the crown. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, get length. Exhale, come through. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, lie back. Set the hands up for Urdhva Rasana. And inhale, lift. Exhale, touch the head to the floor, and then come right back up. And 
Exhale, touch your head to the floor, inhale back up. Stand out of that one if you like, or come back down. And if you stood and you want to drop back, do a few drop backs. If you went down, you might do a few, another round of orbit on your asanas. When you finish your drop backs, you can hang. Come down to Paschimottanasana. And then when you're ready, sit up and lie back. And lift the feet up above the hips. Letting the weight of the legs drop into the back of the sacrum. Letting the currents even pool there momentarily. And then when you're ready, lifting up to Sarvangasana. And then bring the feet overhead for Halasana. With a long lower spine. So dragging the feet back toward the crown, reaching the crown toward the feet, 
Lifting the sitting bones high. And then bring the knees down toward the ears. Maybe squeezing in, but don't push them down. Just let them hang. Maybe they'll drop to the floor. And then straighten the legs. Release the hands and slowly roll the spine back onto the earth. Pause for just a moment as the sacrum touches. And then catch the backs of the legs. Continue to bring the heels all the way to the floor. As they're just about to touch, lift the head, arch the back. Come into fish pose with the elbows pressing into the earth. The fingers pointing out, palms up. Diving the pubic bone forward and down. Taking the back of the sacrum forward and up. And then take the hands to the backs of the legs, press the elbows, look up towards your toes, and lie back. One breath in Tadagi Mudra, then take Chakrasana. And take your Vinyasa. And then setting up for Shirshasana. Come up. Might reach through your heels to spread the back of the body and find that feeling of hollowness in the front of the hips. And then you could maybe extend through the feet if you can hold it without losing it. Lift the head off the floor. You might flex again through the heels as you lift so that you're staying connected with the back of the body. Maybe look up the front and see your toes. Then bring the head back down. And slowly return to the earth and to Balasana.
And then come forward to a high plank. Inhale and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, go back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, come through to a seated position. Take lotus if you have it. Bind the hands in any old way behind your back. Inhale, sit tall. And then exhale, fold. Exhale the next breath all the way to empty and rest in the emptiness for as long as you're comfortable. When you're ready to inhale, let the breath bring you up. Just taking a few more deep. Balanced breaths. Letting the breath slow down with each round. One more. Let the head slowly lift. Let the breath go and just give space.
When you're ready, you can simply turn and lie back. Into Shavasana. And once you're there, with your feet a little wider than the hips and the hands a little wider than the feet, You can draw one more breath from the crown of the head down through the throat to the center of the heart. And then exhale back up along the same path, through the throat, through the skull, through the crown. Releasing the breath completely, releasing all technique, all assessment, all effort. and allowing the body to melt softly back into the earth.